Another day, another softball game for Wabonzi Valley as the Warriors go up against the Bennett Academy Red Wings. In the top of the first, at bat is Nina Passari as she starts off the game by hitting a single ground ball towards center field. Taylor Sconza up at the plate as Hannah Loud throws a ball, however Passari sneaks in and steals second base. It's 2-2 two and two for Skanza, but Laub is able to strike her out. To the bottom of the first, Anna Riggs hits a grounder and she's able to reach first base on an error. Up next is Laub who sends her ball flying towards center field. That drives in two runs and the Warriors lead 2-0. Wabonzi gets another double, but this time from Lily Elsie as she sends this ball to center to bring home Laub. At bat is Lauren Dexter Thornton as she sends a ground ball towards Angela Horegis who can't pick it, resulting in Dexter Thornton reaching first base. Warriors lead 4-0 going into the second with Bridget Chapman hitting a fly ball to the outfield. Gia Cobert is there to make the catch and the out. Two outs in the top of the second and Mary-Kate Rotterbush hits it right to Anna Riggs who throws her out at first to end the inning. Bottom of the second and this is Cobert ripping this ball through the infield which is good for a double. At bat is Anna Riggs who hits a bouncer off Gianna Cunningham and the Red Wings are unable to make the play at first. Jumping ahead to the top of the fourth with Nina Passari who hits a line drive into left and she sprints into third for a triple standing up. Score is 5-2 as Angela Horegis hits a ground ball into the outfield for a single. With Grace Babich up to bat, Horegis attempts to steal second base, but Anna Riggs tags her out. Moving forward into the sixth inning, Gianna Horegis lifts this ball into right field to score Babich. That's an RBI triple and the game is tied at five. Moving to the seventh where the Red Wings lead by two now, Angela Horegis hits a double and brings Taylor Kanza home. It's now 8-5. However, Mackenzie Andrejak crushes this ball into center field with Anna Riggs coming around to score. Bennett takes too long getting the ball back into the infield, so Andrejak is able to come all the way home for an inside the park home run. Lily Elsie hits a fly ball into the outfield, but Nina Passari makes the catch while avoiding a collision with her teammate. Bennett Academy goes on to win 9-7 after a tight contest against Wabonzi Valley. Uh, we knew it was going to be a kind of tough competition because they were 7-1 when we played them. So we knew we had to be watch, like on watch for their pitchers. So it was really hard to go against their pitchers. They were a little slower, but once we got the hang of it, we started hitting more balls. But it was more the defense tonight that really threw us off. This is my second one this year, so I know I'm just going full speed unless Coach Wood tells me to stop. So I knew right when I hit it, it was in the gap. So I knew I was going to get a second or a triple. So I was just running to try to get as many bases as I could. And once I saw that overthrow, I knew I was going in, so. Well, I came up to bat after, um, I knew I had to pick up the batter behind me, but I just came up to bat knowing what had to be done, and I knew we had to score that runner at third. So I just came up with a lot of confidence and just hit away. Um, I was a little nervous. We knew they were a good team, up against some good competition, and we were really just prepared, excited to play them. We've been practicing a lot, and I think we've gotten a lot better, so I was excited to come up against some good competition.